welcome back to my channel. I'm back at Disneyland, yay! And today I've got some fun stuff planned as usual. It's always fun at Disneyland. But this morning it started out a little different. I got here about nine o'clock, well, 8.50, and Main Street seemed really, really packed. I was like, wow, it's really busy today. Um, they had us route around on the, I came in on the right side and we couldn't go into the street. We had to like kind of go around Mad Hatter and then onto Main Street, the main Main Street. And it was like super packed. And then I noticed that nobody was by the castle. Nobody's going towards Frontierland or Adventureland, which I usually go that way when I come to the park. But they weren't allowing any guests there. It was all empty. And we all had to route through Tomorrowland or through a um, little pathway to the Matterhorn, basically. And I asked the cast member what was going on. It was a delayed opening, delayed cleaning, um, deep clean that they were doing. So right now, Tomorrowland and over here is pretty busy. Not that busy as you can see behind me. So what I'm gonna do is head over to Space Mountain, see if I can get on that, just to buy my time until the park fully opens. Hopefully Single Rider is open. I don't know if it is, but we'll find out. Um, so yeah, let's go have some fun. Walking over to Space Mountain, right now it's currently a 50 minute wait. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the exit and see if the single riders open. Who out there remembers when you can play video games at Starcade? I do. I used to go and play air hockey. Single rider time, woo hoo! Single rider. I can't wait. I haven't been on this in forever, so this should be fun. So I got off Space Mountain, it was, I waited maybe five minutes. I love, love, love Single Rider. So now I'm gonna go see if they open up the rest of the park. Um, that should be interesting. I've never seen that happen before. I'm sure it has, but I've never seen it happen. Also gonna take, over, take you guys over to Critter Country because I haven't been over there since they reopened part of it. Um, actually, no, I have. I have been over there. I just didn't film it. You can check that out. Ride Winnie the Pooh, maybe. Probably. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, so gotta gotta ride Winnie the Pooh. I know there's a drink I wanna try. Again, it's gonna be better than pickle lemonade. And then we'll we'll see what else happens. Wait, let's first check out to see if they open up the rest of the park. Alright, so I just tried to walk in front of the castle to go back like cut across the hub to go to like Adventureland or Frontierland or anything and apparently can't go that way. It's one way only. And the cast member stand there and I asked, you know, what's going on? Apparently there was a huge spill at the hub on Main Street in front of the castle. So they're trying desperately to get that cleaned up so they can open up that part of the park to everybody. They said that the rest of the park was open. All the lands are open except that central hub. So they're routing all the guests around uh, away from that area. I guess it was a huge oil spill. Um, don't know how that would happen. Maybe one of the trolley cars or the omnibus, who knows? The cast member I spoke to didn't have any information on that. He just said that it's closed, oil spill, and it is what it is, and they were trying to open it up as soon as possible. So, I'm gonna try to find a way to Critter Country, soon to be known as Bayou Country, so we can check that out. So, let's go, yay. see they're frantically sweeping and cleaning. I don't know if that's exactly where the spill was, but you can see them cleaning the entrance of Frontierland. Mm 
We got it all barricaded off. Okay, as we get to this side of the park, it's not so compact, but some room to spread out. Um, Pirates is only five minutes wait, that's cool. We're gonna check out the construction on Haunted Mansion. They've really built up that gift shop. It looks, it looks like it's gonna be cool. Um, I'll show you guys here. Well, looky there, it's starting to take shape. That is going to look so neat, especially background of Tiana's. Very awesome. Cannot wait to ride that. But yeah. There's the gift shop. There's the virtual queue for Haunted Mansion. And I'll be back later for my cookies. Correction, I will be back later for Rob's cookies because that is the treat I get him when I come to the parks without him. So, gotta have those cookies. So good. All right, as we turn the corner here into Critter Country, you can see that they got the new sign. Let's get closer. New sign for a Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Awesome. And check out Tiana's coming along. Oh, those lights look really cool. Looks like there's going to be speakers there too. Maybe pumping out some music while you're in queue. And they repainted that building. That looks nice. Awesome. In the hundred acre wood, a little bear named Winnie the Pooh set off in search of honey. So I just got off Winnie the Pooh. I love that ride, it is so super cute. Um, got myself a little hidey hole. You can watch people come off the ride. Uh, this little hole or a little nook is right next to Pooh Corner. So go in there, get yourself a Tinker Tail. Come over here, enjoy the waterfall behind me and enjoy your Tinker Tail. Let's go in here and see what they got. Any croc fans out there? A little rain jacket. Oh, that's adorable. Got the same treats here that they do on Main Street, but they have the ticker tails. Those are so good. But so is that. And they got stuffed animals, a bunch of munchlings. How adorable is that? Oh, it weighs a ton. Oh, I want that. Maybe not. He's cute. Smash. And my favorites. So yeah, the rest of the store is closed until they open it up to be... Oh my god, I forgot the name of it. It's going to be Tiana themed. Right there. Look how that's coming along. Wow. 
I haven't been back here like to really look in such a long time. That looks so pretty, so awesome. Okay, controversial. I, I love Splash Mountain. I loved it. But that barn looks so much better than the Splash Mountain barn. I just, I think it's the yellow. I like the yellow. It's very pretty. On November 15th, Tiana is open. Tiana's, Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens. I won't be here. I have to work, but I will, I'm going to try to be there on the weekend. If not, definitely the next week. I'm guessing it's going to be a virtual queue, which that's fine with me. So, yeah, can't wait. Here's where you can meet Pooh. He's not here right now, obviously. He really needs to learn how to spell. That's not how he spells thoughtful or honey on that blue pot. Oh, the window up there. That looks so pretty. I hope it comes out on camera, because that is really pretty. All right, so let's go check out the rest of the park, see what's going on, see if they cleaned up that oil spill, and we'll go from there. Okay, so they are testing logs. I was right. I thought I heard it. Yay! Awesome. No water, though, but hey. I'm over here because they are testing it with the audio. I want to see if you guys can hear it. Yeah, they're testing it with audio, and I tried to get over to the wall to see if you guys could hear it, but I, I don't think it's going to pick up on camera. But we can hear it. Sounds like you can hear Louie and Mama Odie. You can hear the music. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. I just heard Tiana say it's just getting started. Oh, I hope it picked up on audio. I'll have to check. If not, this is this is pointless. Okay, oil spill update. They have now just kept it in this little corner. I don't know if it's an oil spill or what, but something on the ground that they had to close like half of Disneyland for. Look at them all hard at work. So now we can go through Frontierland. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the hub and see if I could see anything. They, they probably cleaned it all up, but I wanna see. Okay, I made it to the hub and no sign of anything happening over here. All clear. Nice and clear. However, we have construction walls. I wonder what they're doing over there. Hmm. Fixing the grotto. Is it called a grotto? That lake? Anyway, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Maybe they're finally doing that entrance work that they're going to do. Like that wall has been up there forever. Maybe they're finally finishing. See on the side here? Those little entrances. Maybe. Okay, I have an update. It wasn't oil that spilled. It was hydraulic fluid. I don't know if that's true or not, but it sounds more likely than oils. Something spilled at the hub or on Main Street, and that was the delayed opening. I heard, I heard reports that the line to get into Disneyland was like super long, like all the way to DCA. When I showed up, lines weren't that bad. Um, but when I got into the park, that's when I noticed the crowds. But yeah, everything seems back to normal except for that little spot in Frontierland. So yeah, you know, things happen. Breaking news, new water fountain in Fantasyland with Alice. It is so cute. This is Drink Me. Very cool. You fill up your water bottle, press that button, fill up your water bottle. All right, so while I wait to park hop, it's not quite time yet, I'm gonna head into here and see if they got some new pins. First one I see, that is new. I may have to get that. I love Walt Disney pins with Mickey. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. That's cute. Let's see what else they got new. A 
limited edition ones new. Nothing really standing out, except Mr. Toad. That one's cute only because the Chippendale. Okay, so I didn't see anything really that stood out as new for pins in there, but except that Walt Disney one and I had to get it. Um, so yeah, I'll just add that to my pin collection, my expansive, enormous pin collection. So, all right, so I got a half an hour before park hopping. I'm gonna mosey on down Main Street, check out some stores, and if I see some new merch, obviously I'm gonna share it with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do something weird. I'm not gonna go to the Emporium. I'm gonna go on the left side of Main Street. Let's start with Plaza Point. Here they got really cute Christmassy stuff. So if Christmas is your thing, this is your store. Or even if Halloween is your thing. No shortage of ornaments here. Hopefully I won't see a Chippendale one because then I'm going to want it. Well, that's pretty. I just turned the corner and oh my, oh my goodness, all that home stuff. I need a new silverware. <laughs> Those are nice and soft. Oh, how pretty is that? Wow, nobody in here. Do I need a new mug? Yes. Place mounts. I need new place mats. They're like um, silicone. Very nice. So out of four place mats, 30 bucks. That's not too bad. That would look good in my kitchen. Really nice cutting board. Ooh. Or children be good. Ooh. Children be good stick. Okay, that was a prime example of why I shouldn't touch things because I end up breaking things. I almost knocked everything off of that shelf. Then I would have bought everything. I think I should just not touch anything. That is a super cute raincoat. But it doesn't hardly rain down here. Oh, I just, you guys, I just found a new lounge fly. I have not seen that lounge fly. Oh, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on, look at that. Just look at that lounge fly. Oh my god. There's the back. The front again. Oh wow. Inside print super cute. Look at his face. Glory. Okay, look at his face. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a new bag. Definitely super cute. I need it. I'm gonna walk away from the lounge fly. I don't really need it. I've already got like a billion of them. But it's so cute. I shouldn't come into the store. Okay, leaving the store before I break anything. Um, again, not allowed to touch anything. I don't know what it is with me. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> All right, so let's head over to the Emporium and see if we can find anything new there. Not seeing any new ears. Oh the same ones that they've had. Except I feel these are new. You know, I occasionally check out the keychains and I do not remember these. These look new. That's, I like these. These are $20. Oh, you get a whole bunch. I didn't even notice that. Oh, wow. Okay, that's worth it. That was $20 for one. I feel that's new too. I think all these are new. Well, except, except these ears. I've seen these before. Looks like they got some Coco merch in. So I don't remember seeing these. This cute bag. Oh. 
I'm just gonna leave this here and not touch it. I set off alarm. Looks like they got Christmas shirts coming out. This is the generic Disneyland shirt. Um, last year it didn't have all the lights on it, but I really like that. That's that is cute. We got a Haunted Mansion. Another one. I know somebody who would like that shirt. And then they have a matching Mickey one. Okay, the sun is finally coming out. It's getting a little cold. You may have had to buy a jacket. Just kidding. So, let's see. I have 15 minutes to park hopping time. I'm gonna go over to the Mad Hatter, see if they got ears there. Then we'll park hop. There's a drink over there I wanna try. I know I keep mentioning it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until, well, we're probably gonna tell by the thumbnail, but whatever. Yeah, so let's head over to Mad Hatter. All right, inside Mad Hatter is where you can do the create your own headband. They had like, you know, Mickey, Minnie, Donald and all that. Now they have Pixar. You can do joy, sadness, anger. This one, I haven't seen the first one yet. I can have someone back here. Yeah, they've got all the Pixar characters. They've got the Nightmare Before Christmas and all the main characters. And there's an example of what you can do. Let's get this one from the book. Okay. Or that. So yeah, they have plenty in stock and I don't see that they would be running out anytime soon. Seems like they're keeping their stock up for demand. So if you want a customizable headband, there you go. But I guess what time it is. It's park hopping time. Woo! -hoo. All right, let's go. At Clarabelle's, we're gonna get the candy corn float. And I love candy corn, so this better be good. Candy corn float is orange soda with mango sorbet topped with whipped cream and a few candy corn pieces. Better get more than just a few. I want a ton, so we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I got the candy corn float here. It's got tons of candy corn on it, which I'm super excited about. It's got Fanta orange soda, mango sorbet, and whipped cream, and candy corn. So let's, let's give it a try comes with a paper straw. Yum. Yum. Who eats straws? Why did I say yum? Anyway, it's kind of thick. Must be the sorbet. All right, first try. Kind of gets you. Kind of gets you here. It's orange soda. I'm going to take the lid off here because I got to get some candy corn. Okay, with the lid off. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to spill. I got to try this. Delicious. That is good. Candy corn. I totally just spilled. <laughs> see? I spilled. Oops. Okay, so this drink, $7.49. No magic key discounts. So I just spilled 50 cents worth, so that sucks. Okay, I'm trying to drink more, but nothing's coming in the straw. Ooh, that was a sorbet. That was good. Okay, how am I going to rate this? It, so far, it's, it's good. If you like orange soda, this is the drink. If you like candy corn, this is the drink. You can't really taste the sorbet yet. The whipped cream is really, really good. The candy corn is fresh. That's what's important because I don't know if you've ever had steel candy corn that's gross. Um, yeah, candy corn is fresh and chew, chewy, soft, whipped cream, floofy. So yeah, I, I recommend this drink, especially if it's hot. It does stay hot here in Southern California well into October. I think it's going to like peak maybe in the upper 80s. I'm not a meteorologist. I don't know. I don't know. But... If you like candy corn, you like orange soda, get the candy corn float. Thumbs up. I keep on, oh, I'm spilling again. 
I keep on going back to that damn pickle lemonade. This is not the pickle lemonade. This is deliciousness. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy it. I'm going to sit here and try not to spill it. Yeah. Candy corn float. Two thumbs up. So after that yummy candy corn float, just taking a lap around DCA. It's really loud in Cars Land. Uh, maybe going on Credit Coaster. I don't know yet. All right, so I just checked the app and Credit Coaster is down. So no Credit Coaster for me. That explains why Guardians, when I walked by it, it was a 70 minute wait. So everybody I wanted riding Credit Coaster is riding Guardians. So now what am I gonna do? All right, getting ready to ride the monorail. They just recently are allowing guests to ride up front. I've done it a bunch of times, but I want to do it again. It's been a while, so I'm just waiting for the train to arrive. Arrive. Waiting for the train to arrive. All right, on your train monorail orange is now final approach. Coming. Can we do these? Okay, so the monorail was so much fun. I love riding in the front. It's like, you can see everything. It's the greatest. But one problem with me riding the monorail is I forgot about my mobile order for my cookies. I was able to change the time, but I want to pick them up now. So I'm going to see if they'll honor the new time. I said change it to 1.15. It's 12.30. Uh, we'll see. It sure has filled up in here. Lots of people at the parks today. All right, so I was able to get my cookies. Crisis averted. I didn't record anything because it was just, it was really packed in there and I just want to get out of there. So I got my cookies and I swung by Candy Palace and I got myself a little treat. This is a Mickey pumpkin. He's so cute. Almost, almost too cute to eat. I better set this down, I'm gonna drop it. So yeah, I got Rob a treat. He got cookies. It's just a generic little chocolate chip cookies from Harbor, from Harbor Galley. And then I got my Mickey cake pop. Anyway, I think that is the perfect end to a wonderful morning at Disney. It's about 1 p.m. I'm gonna head home and relax because it's my day off. I have to go to work tomorrow. But anyway, if you made it this far, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. You know the drill, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tons more Disney fun coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.